Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread devotional and scripture song for today. And we'll also be reading another chapter from 2 Corinthians. So, today's topic for the 18th day of July is titled, Fruit-Bearing Disciples. And so we'll be getting to that topic here in a few minutes. But first, we're going to sing today's scripture song. And it is from Ephesians 5, verse 18. And it says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. So, if you have your Bible handy, you can turn along and sing along with Brother Dean and Sister Patty and myself as I press play on the CD here. Amen. Let's go ahead and sing along. Ephesians 5.18 And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Alright, here we go. And be not drunk with wine, be not drunk wearing excess, be filled with the Spirit, be filled with the Spirit, be not drunk, but be filled not drunk with wine, be not drunk wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, be filled with the Spirit, and not drunk, but be filled. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and do that one more time since it's a short one today. So again, Ephesians 5.18, we'll sing that one more time and then we'll get into the topic. Ephesians 5.18 And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Okay, I'll try it again. And be not drunk with wine not drunk wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, but be filled with the Spirit, be not drunk, but be filled, and be not drunk with wine, where I'm drunk, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, but be filled with the Spirit, be not drunk, but be filled. Amen. All right, so we'll try that a couple more times at the end of the broadcast. Now let's go ahead and get into the topic. Amen. <clears throat> All right. So fruit bearing disciples and our uh, scripture today for the topic is from John 15 verse 8. Herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit to, uh, excuse me, so shall ye be my disciples. Amen. So again, it says, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. John 15, 8. And our author today is Brother Tim Green. Make sure that's correct. Brother Tim Green uh, from Revival in Our Time, Day Heights, Ohio. And he's the one that is the editor of these uh, devotional books. And he says that... Uh, as I read what he says, he uh, writes here, I found the following poem in, a, in an old Sunday school paper entitled, Do You Want to Be His Disciple? So he said he found this old poem in an old Sunday school paper entitled, Do You Want to Be His Disciple? So let's read uh, this poem here. It says, Do you want to be his disciple? Question mark. Do you want to be his disciple? Do you want to follow his way? Do you want to follow the master? If you do, just tell him today. Do you want to know 
his sweet love? Do you want to know his care that he, that he cares? Do you want to know if he listens? If so, go to him with your prayers. Do you want to be his disciple? Do you want to go all the way? Do you want to gain life eternal? If so, if you do, just kneel down and pray. Ask the Lord um, and excuse me, ask of the Lord his forgiveness. Ask him to cleanse you today. He'll do it all in a moment. Then from him, dear friend, do not stray. If you want to be his disciple and want him to know that you care, if you want him to know that you love him, just go to the Savior in prayer. Anonymous. So this nobody knows who this person is that wrote this poem. It was uh, titled Anonymous. And then he concludes here, May the consecrated and convicting words of this little poem ring the bells of victory in your soul. I don't know about you, but I want to be his disciple. And that was from Brother Tim Green of Revival in Our Time, Day Heights, Ohio. Amen. That was a good little poem. Praise the Lord. And uh, so, that was a short little devotional today where we read a poem. Amen. And now let's go ahead and dive into today's scripture as we read another chapter from 2 Corinthians. All right, so we did chapter 5 yesterday, and now we're going to be in chapter 6. So if you have your Bible handy, turn along with me in your King James Bible, the authorized Word of God. It says here in verse 1, We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he saith, I have I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Right, right now. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God, in much patience, in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, as poor, yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing all things. O oh, ye Corinthians, our m mouth is open unto you, our heart is enlarged. Ye are not straightened in us, but ye are straightened in your own bowels. Uh, now, for a recompense in the same, I speak as unto my children, be ye also enlarged, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Christ with Belial, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel, and what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Yes, we are. If we're saved, as God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you. And ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord 
Almighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is the end of chapter 6. And tomorrow we'll cover chapter 7. Amen. Let me get a drink of water here. All right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and sing today's scripture song again. And we'll go ahead and do yesterday's scripture song as the review. So let's go ahead and uh, sing Ephesians 5.18 again. All right. <clears throat> Ephesians 5.18. Amen. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Okay, here we go again. Be not drunk with wine. Be not drunk wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Be, be filled with the Spirit. Be not drunk, but be filled. And be not drunk with wine, we're not drunk, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, be filled with the Spirit, be not drunk, but be filled. All right, so let's go back to the 17th, yesterday. 16. 22. And ye now therefore have, have sorrow, sorrow, but, but I, I will see, see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy, joy no man taketh from you. And this is Jesus speaking. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice and your joy no man taketh from you. And your heart shall rejoice and your joy no man taketh from you. And I will see you again. And you have sorrow, but I will see you again. Have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice and your joy. No man take it from you, and your heart shall rejoice and your joy. No man take it from you. I will see you again. I will see you again. Amen. All right. Now today's one more time. Ephesians 5.18. Ephesians 5.18. And be not drunk, drunk with, with wine, wine wherein is excess, excess but, but be filled, filled with, the with the Spirit. And be not drunk with wine, be not drunk wherein is excess. With the Spirit, but be filled with the Spirit. Be not drunk, but be filled. And be not drunk with wine. Be not drunk wherein is excess. But be filled with the Spirit. Be the filled. With the Spirit, be not drunk, but be filled. Amen. All right, well, that will about wrap it up for today's devotional and scripture song. And we just read also from 2 Corinthians chapter 6. So if you're just joining me, you can go back and watch this at the beginning. And before I go, I'll give you tomorrow's scripture song and topic for the devotional. And tomorrow is the 19th, so we'll be going and singing Galatians 5, 22 through 23. 
And it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So that is tomorrow's scripture song. And if you'd like to get a copy of these scripture songs, uh, for each month they are at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And they're playing each day. The scripture song for the day is playing on the website. And you can also download them, I believe, uh, on the website also. And pray for Brother Dean and Sister Patty. They are missionaries to Guyana. Although they're here in the United States right now because he's going through and having some surgery done here next month. So pray for that and pray for all those that are in Guyana. They have taken over the work, the locals over there. Um, and pray for that everything would open back up and these missionaries can get back on the field. Amen. So pray, pray to that end. Alright, so tomorrow's topic will be titled for the 19th get there it's titled when the cat's away all right sounds like an interesting topic when the cat's away for tomorrow and our passage is from luke 12 39 so i hope you'll come back tomorrow in the afternoon for that after church i will go over that subject and praise the lord and until next time may the lord richly bless you and hope you all have a great and wonderful rest of your saturday and remember to come back Later on for the daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of Proverbs. Amen. All right. Well, till then, Brother Scott signing off. So bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching. Amen.